Tolkien is back on our screens again with Amazon's Rings of Power, and it seems that the orcs will return as the elves and humans main antagonists. He brought the orcs into modern usage mostly through the Lord of the Rings, and his influence has spread all across fantasy fiction, from Dungeons and Dragons to Warcraft. There have been debates about their origins within the story, like how orcs are actually the corrupted race of elves. But let's take a look instead at Tolkien's inspiration for them. In the 10th century Old English Cleopatra glossaries, the Latin word Orcus is defined as a goblin, specter, or hell devil. Orcus is also a god of the underworld, and punisher of broken oaths in Etruscan and Roman mythology, so the hell devil definition is not far off. Orc in Anglo-Saxon or Old English means a specter or goblin, which was derived from the Latin word Orcus. The word was once used in the 10th century Old English epic poem Beowulf in its plural compound form Orcneus, one of the tribes alongside the elves and entons or giants condemned by God. In his own words, Tolkien himself wrote in a letter that, Orcs, the word is as far as I am concerned, actually derived from Old English orc demon, but only because of its phonetic suitability, are nowhere clearly stated to be of any particular origin. He also states in another letter that his orcs had their inspiration from the goblins of George MacDonald's Princess and the Goblin, wherein he says, Your preference of goblins to orcs involves a large question and a matter of taste, and perhaps historical pedantry on my pen. Personally, I prefer orcs, since these creatures are not goblins, not even goblins of George MacDonald, which they do to some extent resemble. Now Tolkien himself did not mention Beowulf as a source for the orcs, but he was actually a renowned Beowulf scholar, even writing a modern English translation for it. So we could assume that he also likely and partially borrowed the word orc from the epic poem itself. He also personally observed the similarity of the word orc to the Latin word orcus. Tolkien ultimately began the word's modern use, denoting a race of humanoid, brutish, aggressive, ugly, and malevolent race of monsters. He even placed it in his elvish dictionaries as well through the word orc which meant monster, ogre, or demon. Because of Tolkien's contribution, orcs have now become a ubiquitous addition to our fantasy imaginations. Every fantasy writer after him has always had the orcs as an inspiration in their worlds. If not orcs, what other fantasy creatures could be a formidable antagonist for adventurers? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Generalist channel so you can be notified whenever a new video comes out. 